my computer here. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We're, we're streaming live now. Uh, how are you, sir? Uh, welcome to the clock hour. Sorry it took a little bit to get on. We had some hiccups there. Uh, I had to go with a, uh, a different computer here so we could get things working. Uh, for whatever reason, it decided it wanted to give me some issues today. But uh, it's cool. I'm here. I'm live. And uh, I've got... Uh, a member of the U.S. Navy with us, and uh, he was a Colorado wrestler. Uh, he wrestled for, in the state of Colorado high school, and uh, he was a state placer there. And now he's off uh, in the U.S. Navy, uh, serving his country and uh, doing big things. Uh, how are you, sir? What's going on? Uh, tell us, much. Uh, just... Man, tell us about life. What, what are you doing? Uh my orders sent me to Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, I've got attached to a squadron out here uh, working on helicopters. And so we just got off like at around 12, 12 o'clock Eastern time and uh, had a big, big, big week. We had to get some inspections taken care of on the helicopters. And we have like 12 helicopters, I think, that we had to go through. So it was a it was a busy week. That was for sure. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. So uh, learning a pretty cool trade out there. And, oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> those helicopters have got to be pretty neat, huh? Yeah. it's uh, It was a big eye opener when I first got here on Monday. And uh, we like started working right away on that on Tuesday. And we were supposed to be going to sea school, some of us, but our orders got messed up. And we were supposed to go to uh, C school in Virginia, but then that got canceled. And then they said, we're going back to C school in Jacksonville. So they sent us all down to Jacksonville. And then now our seats for C school are canceled. So now we're just staying with our squadron that we were attached to for after C school. So. Oh, wow. Interesting. And yeah, uh, was, uh, so you'll, you'll have to, You'll have to go do C school. You just weren't able to do it right now. Uh, so going to try to get us back into C school, but it probably won't be till October. But if anything, we'll just stay with the squadron for however long our contract is. And we just won't even do C school in the, in the end. So. So even the Navy's being affected by what's going on. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, so uh, I know you wrestled in high school uh, up in Colorado, had a, had a successful high school career, and then uh, you decided that after high school, you were going to do some coaching, right? Yes. And uh, so talk about that. What made you transition right from high school to coaching? Uh, so right after I graduated, I started working for a landscaper company, landscaping company, and then it came to winter time, and we weren't really doing much. And so I figured I was like, well, let me go stop by my old high school and for one of their practices and see what they have going on. And the head coach at the time, he was like, do you want to stay and volunteer for the rest of the year? And I was like, I might as well. So I did a vol I volunteered for like the from Thanksgiving break all the way through the end of the season. And then I got a call from another coach who was actually my high school coach from my freshman through junior year. And he called me when he got the head coaching position at a different high school. And he wanted me to go and take on the kids over there with him. So, and then I've been there since the 2014, 15 school year. And then I just resigned my position this year because I was leaving in the middle of the season. All right. So, uh, so you left, you went off to, uh, you got your orders. You're off in Jacksonville right now. Um, I know that um, prior to that, you really had some transitioning to do to go from like athlete to coach, right? I, I talk yeah. about the struggles there. So it's, it was hard, especially uh, when I volunteered at the high school that I was at, because a lot of the juniors, my senior year, I ended up having to kind of somewhat discipline them and kind of they still had to listen to me as opposed to like me being their friend, I was now their coach. So that was a little weird at first, 
But then when I went to the new high school, I didn't know anybody there. So it was a lot easier of a transition being a coach at that high school because I didn't know any of the kids. So it was a completely new high school that we were going to. And, but in the end, in being able to pretty much make friends with all the kids that you have and keeping, I still keep in contact with some of the, our first freshman class that we have. I still keep in contact with some of those kids even after they're graduated two years ago. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So um, talk about your decision to, to go into the Navy. So I, I was working at a moving company while I was coaching and the moving company was really uh, cooperative with the wrestling schedule. They would let me leave work early to go to practice. And then some days I'd have to take off for like the state tournament. I had to take off two days off. And then uh, I just wasn't really liking my job at the moving company anymore and I wanted something new and so I went talked to a recruiter in like late August and they were able to get me to go up to Denver to go to the MEPS building to go swear in and do like my physical and stuff like that and on September 11th and 12th on the 12th I actually swore in and on the 11th I did all my medical stuff and my physical and my drug testing and stuff like that. And uh, then, so, so I for, didn't end up leaving. Good. Sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to, there was a delay. Oh, no, so I kind of talked over you. Sorry. And uh, so I ended up not leaving for boot camp until January 15th was when I finally left for boot camp of this, of this year. Well, so for, for the young men out there, the young men and women, uh, wrestlers or or whoever's listening to this um talk to them about that process of um you know deciding you're going to go to the to the military uh you chose the navy and um what made the navy the best choice for you because i know there are kids out there right now um that are saying the military is is what their next step is going to be in life but they're not sure what branch so i i love uh what made you choose the navy and then Talk about that process of having to get to the recruiter, go through that, having to go to MEPS, go through the physical and, and do that whole process before even being accepted to say, okay, the Navy, you scored high enough for the Navy or whatever it might be. Yeah, so I chose Navy. Uh, I ended up moving out of my house, out of my mom's place and moved in with my cousin when he got out of the Navy. And so he was like giving me like, telling me like all this cool stuff that they did. And uh, I remember one time I was at work and he called me and they were on deployment and he was like, Oh, Hey, what are you doing? And I was like, Oh, nothing. Just loading up this truck, getting ready to like send it off. And he's like, Oh, cool. Well, I'm about to go snowboard in the French Alps. I'll call you later. <laughs> I was like, all right, bye. And so that was something pretty cool that he was able to do. Uh, just being with the Navy, going on deployments, seeing the different ports and stuff like that. He went to Spain, Bahrain, France, Italy. Uh, they went up to Canada a couple months. And just being able to try, if you want to travel, I would say join the Navy most definitely because you will have a better chance at traveling somewhere unfamiliar to you with the Navy. I mean, granted, you'll join like the army and yoga stations in like Fort Hood and you're from like New York. So that'll be like totally different change for you. But if you want to like travel the world and see different things, then the Navy would probably be the best way to go or the Marines. Cause we travel a lot with the Marines as well. Cool. Uh, especially like when we were in a school in Pensacola, we had a bunch of Marines in our class for a school and so the Marines and the Navy are kind of like one kind of unit. They'll typically travel together. Well, the Marines will travel with us because we have all the boats and ships and stuff. So, um, but go in, if I say, if you want if you're thinking about joining, just go see a recruiter and it doesn't really matter. Like if you're still unsure about what branch you want to join, just go talk to a recruiter. And sometimes a recruiter will grab you or well, they won't 
grab you, but they'll walk you to like, if you want to go to the Marines, but you like have tattoos, the Marine recruiter will walk you over to like the Navy office. And then you go talk to the Navy people. Usually the recruiters are pretty good about that. Like working with each other and stuff. Uh, Cause I was one guy I was in boot camp with, he wanted to join the Marines, but he had a uh, tribal tattoos on his arm and they wouldn't let him in because he had the tattoos already. And with the Marines, I guess if you have prior military experience with tattoos, then they'll pretty much accept you. So after he's going to do his four years with the Navy, and then he's going to transfer into the Marine Corps. Nice. So, wow, I didn't know all that about uh, the decisions you have to make, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that, that's cool. And um, so how long, uh, this is your first work duty, right? Yes. Nice. So you got, uh, so what's your MOS? I'm an aviation structure mechanic. So I pretty much work on like the panels of the aircraft, any aircraft. Um, for me right now, it's helicopters. And we do work on the hydraulic systems. Um, we pretty much do any, deal with anything that has like a nut or a bolt in it pretty much. And that's probably going to do more for you than working in a moving truck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because if I decide to do my, my first contract and get out, I can go apply at a Boeing anywhere in the world pretty much and get hired on a Boeing just because of my military experience and working with the certain aircrafts and stuff. So, Wow, very cool. Uh what uh what what do they have you working on right now what type of helicopters so it's a mh60 romeo so it's a it's pretty much a submarine uh a submarine attack warfare helicopter wow so it like pretty much tracks submarines and stuff like that and will take them down if needed so i think it's safe to say that so far you're very happy with your your life decision to transition to this, um, to the U.S. military? Yes, I am. It was, it was probably, it was a decision that I should have stuck with like right after high school because I tried to join with my cousin right after high school, but it didn't work out. And then I started working and I was like, well, let me try again with all the knowledge that I have now from my cousin and him helping me out with talking to the recruiter. And then my uncle, he also helped me out as well. And so having that whole background with their military experience helped me out a lot with the decision. And they're like, are you for sure want to go talk to a recruiter? I was like, yes, let's go. And then they'll, the recruiters will ask you when you want to leave for boot camp. If you had a time, if you could choose when you wanted to leave, they'll ask you. And I went in. Uh, so I was signing my contract with the recruiter's office on the 11th of September before we went up to Denver and they're like so when do you want to leave I was like tomorrow <laughs> they're like what I was like yeah tomorrow and they're like okay well we'll put October of 2019 <laughs> but I didn't end up leaving until January which was probably better because then I got to spend the holidays with the family one last time before I left so but I try to leave as soon as possible well good for you so now talk about uh I know that we spoke a little bit off the air. Uh, one of your goals is um, to apply to be able to wrestle for the Navy. And I know there's a process to that, correct? Yes. So I have to, I could apply now if I wanted to, but I want to get as much hands-on training with the helicopters as I can. <laughs> and I'd have to go online to the All Navy Sports website and fill out an application and talk about I have to list um, like certain people that know my background with the sport and then I'll have to print it off and then I have to send it through my chain of command. So I have to send it to my LPO, my LCPO, uh, my chief, um, my XO and my CO. And as long as my CO approves it, everybody else could say no, but as long as my CO approves it, then I'm good to go and try out for the sport, whatever sport it is. For me, obviously it'd be wrestling. And 
once I fill that out and get it approved, then I can go try out for the team. And I've actually spoken with the all Navy wrestling team captain. And he told me to, he pretty much told me to be a good sailor for like the first couple of years and then apply because then I'll get all my qualifications done. And uh, then it, show, it looks really good on my like record and stuff like that. And they host tryouts in January and February. And then they start wrestling in like middle of March. And then they'll wrestle the rest of the year. And then they'll go back again and do tryouts again in January, February. So he told me that I could be wrestling with them for like two months, depending on how I do, or I could wrestle with them for the full 10 months of the season. And they travel all over, he said, and wrestle. And he said they go to some tournaments where you qualify for the Olympic trials and stuff like that. So, Wow, very cool. So looking forward to it. So you got a lot to look forward to. Uh, you got a bright future. Uh, how old are you now? 25. Oh man, so you got you got a bunch of life, and uh, you're going to get to experience some some really cool things, I'm sure, and and uh, that's super awesome. Uh, uh, it, it's an actual, it's, it's amazing to to talk with you and 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 hear your story and and see where you're heading. And I can't wait to watch you and hear about you wrestling in in the Navy. And uh, but I've got some more questions for you. Are you ready? Yes. <clears throat> all right elway or manning i'd probably go with manning <laughs> lamb or bison bison vale or breckenridge oof <laughs> i've never been to either or but i'd probably go out to breckenridge all right Rocky Mountain Oysters or Smoke Rattlesnake? I've never had either of them, but I, I've always wanted to try snakes, so I'll go with the rattlesnake. <laughs> you know, this is all like Colorado stuff. Yeah, that's what I figured after you said Vail and Breckenridge. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so you've got, you, you're from a state that you can't complain with either season, winter or summer. They're both amazing. Uh, I say there's, uh, I say Colorado is the real heaven. Anytime I go up there, I'm just, it's just a blessing to be up there. So would you prefer winter snowmobiling or summer four-wheeling? I have to stick with the winter. I love the winters out there. <laughs> would you prefer fly fishing in the river or ice fishing in the winter? I've never done either, but I've always wanted to go ice fishing. Cool. Snowshoeing or hiking? Hiking. Skiing or snowboarding? Never done either, but I've always wanted to go snowboarding. I've had the opportunities to, but work got well, in the way. What the hell have you been doing in Colorado all these years? Ice skating and playing hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Lager or IPA? Ugh. Ugh. Probably a lager. Trout or halibut? Halibut. Nice. Those are my 10 Colorado questions. So <laughs> when you get home from the Navy, you need to go to Vail, check it out, Breckenridge. <laughs> you need to try some smoked snake. You need to go hit the slopes and get yourself some yeah. lessons. Yep. Hit the ice and fly, either fly fish or ice fish. That'd be cool. I think I'd be afraid I'm going to fall through the ice. It's got to be thick enough and then, then you'll be fine. As long as it's thick enough, you're good to go. Well, I know when we, um, <clears throat> when we fly into Colorado, into Denver, and then we're driving up during the winter, I mean, there's like big trucks out there on the lake. So I, I'm not that fat yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can I think I'm not that big of a wide load yet so I'd be good to go <laughs> there you but, go I mean, <clears throat> first of all good luck with your career um, thank you God bless you for for joining our military and and, and serving this country um, and protecting you know protecting the freedoms that we 
we take for granted. So I appreciate you for that. And uh, be safe and have fun and and travel the world and keep in touch. All righty, I will. All right, buddy, you take care. Thank you so much. This was an honor to meet you. Thank you for having me.